Here are the documents you wish to see, Master Zero. Thank you. Master. And I'm extremely flattered that you should wish to see me, but why, may I ask? Oh, Master Zero, with respect, there are many people in Israel who feel that your influence in the Sanhedrin offers great hope for the future. And I can think of no better introduction to the high priest, Lord Caiaphas. Well, since you know so much about me, then you won't be surprised that we know about your rabbi from Nazareth. Miracles. Raising the dead. Extraordinary. Now, I wish that my duties had given me time to see your Jesus myself. I wish you had, then you would need no persuading that he is the only man that can bring peace to Israel. What? Oh, but the zealots know it, and so... So you might be surprised to learn to your temple guards. The Romans, they're painfully practical. They would welcome anybody that would bring peace to this country, and if it was a peace that cost them nothing, so much the better. The Sanhedrin should proclaim Jesus King of Judea and tell the Romans... What? L look, Caesar, we have a new ruler. One from the royal house of David, one in whom we have every confidence, who preaches peace, tolerance and love, even to you Romans. Therefore, you can calmly withdraw your troops. We no longer need them. You put it very well. I would have to put it very well indeed for the Romans to take away their troops and their procurator, not to mention their tax collectors. I was told of your wit, but this is hardly the time for it. All right. <laughs> you and I should not quarrel. What do you want me to do? Hmm? Let Jesus of Nazareth prove himself before the Sanhedrin. I think I can promise you that he shall have that opportunity.
Rabbi. My name is Zera. I'm a scribe of this holy place. And I, like my brethren, have followed your mission with great interest. We have heard good things of you and are glad. But what you have done here today both shocks and surprises us. Do you wish to destroy the sacred temple? The temple is not mere stone. It is the house of God. It cannot be destroyed as long as God lives here. Destroy this temple. And in three days, I will make it rise again. It took centuries to build this temple. Do you think you can rebuild it in three days? You have said it. But you have not understood. Rabbi, I understand better than you think. Master, that scribe had every intention of greeting you in a friendly manner. He wanted to understand your mission. Was it wise to discourage him? He has one of the most open minds in the Sanhedrin. Open your heart, Judas, not your mind. Open your eyes and your heart. Master Zera, Master Zera. Oh, my dear Judas. You're quite right. Your master has very little political sense. But he is an extraordinary man. And we shall continue to watch his mission with great interest. Hmm. Give to everyone who asks from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them back. Do not do to others anything you would not have them do to you. Pass no judgment, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Be perfect, just as our Father in Heaven is perfect. Ask for this gift, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened. What father refuses his child? If you who are imperfect know how to give what is good to your children, how much more will your father in heaven give to those who ask him? Intervene. No. At least not for the moment. I must confess that I'm fascinated by this man's power over the peoples. We must find out where this power comes from. Well, we must admit he's capable of extraordinary things. They say he raised one of his friends from the tomb. A clever trick before coming to Jerusalem. Yes, but you must admit... Please, brothers, be advised. You must not act impetuously.
Any first? Ask the captain of the temple guard to report to the high priest Caiaphas. Immediately. Justice! Mercy! Good faith! You are like whited sepulchres, all clean and fair without, but within, full of dead men's bones and all corruption. Do you see these stones, do you not? I tell you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. Yours is a house of desolation, the home of the lizard and the spider. Serpents, brood of vipers, how can any of you escape damnation? You shall not see me here again, not until you learn to cry. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. For I and my father are one and the same. He is a blasphemer. This is the man. White and simple back You have forsaken the Lord, and now you despise the Holy One of Israel. You don't speak for the people of Israel. Listen to the teachings of our God. Our law says the prophet who claims to say in the name of God things which God has not commanded, that prophet must die. If this man Jesus is a false prophet and a blasphemer, is it not better for one man to die than for a whole nation to perish? However, under Roman occupation, Caiaphas, the people of Israel may put a goat to death, but not a man. Thank you, Zira, for reminding us of our realities. Then he must be charged and found guilty by the Romans. But Caiaphas, we have not found him guilty yet. Surely our law does not condemn a man before first giving him a hearing before the elders of Israel? No matter how serious his offense, we cannot simply hand over one of our brothers to the Romans. Caiaphas, after the Passover, let me persuade Jesus to come to us and explain to us what is in his heart and his mind when he says he is the Son of God. Brethren, I agree. We will question him fully and give this Jesus of Nazareth every opportunity to, to defend himself. No! To delay would be too dangerous. We all know what steps Pilate would take against our people if the unrest continues. Zara, he must be taken tonight. It could cause even more trouble among the crowds if our temple guards go searching for him. It could be a long search. All over the city. No one knows where he and his followers are hiding. They stay no longer than one night in the same place. I think I know the way to reach him. Jerry, don't forget. Jesus of Nazareth is one of our brothers.